Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's been approximately 12 decades, but I'm back here with a Halloween look just in time. Um, I'm firstly starting off with my brows. I'm using the Chi Chi Brow Pomade in medium brown to fill them in, and I'm going nice and defined with them. Um, then I'm carving out the brows to make them nice and sharp with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW15. And I'm using a MAC 224 brush, which is the best for carving and cutting the brows in the crease. Then setting the lids with a little bit of MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in light to prep for the shadow, which I'm going in with now. And I'm using the shade Love Letter from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Rena Renaissance. And then what I'm doing is just blending that out through the crease using Flamingo Eyeshadow from Huda Beauty's uh, Rose Gold Palette. Um, and then just going back in with my first and second shade till I get a really beautiful blend. Then going into All Star from Anastasia Subculture Palette, I'm adding a bit more depth to the eyes. Then cutting the crease with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer again and my 242 brush. Um, I'm doing a halo eye rather than a standard cut crease just because I think it'd be a super striking with this look. Um, and you could do this with any shades as well. doesn't have to be the colors I'm using today, but you can still use the same technique. Um, and I always like to go over the edges of my um, cut crease or halo with a dry brush to buff out the concealer and then pat it in again with a clean brush. And that just ensures that you're not going to get any grabbing or like chunkiness on the eyes. Then I'm just patting on a little bit of uh, shimmery green eyeshadow from the Morphe 35U palette and then popping on electric eyeshadow from the Subculture palette again on top. Then going back in with my first shade Love Letter and then softening out the edges where they meet. Then prepping my lid with a little bit of Too Faced glitter glue and slapping on a little bit of this gorgeous light green glitter, which is freaking stunning. Then I just slapped on a big old pair of lashes and wiped away my fallout. Next, I'm going in with my Cryolan TV paint stick and I'm in the shade NB1 if you were curious, because we want that drag full coverage finish, Henley. Um, and I'm buffing that out with my sponge. Then I'm going in with my NYX eye base in white to go super bright um, under the eyes because I want it to be super dramatic and contrasty. Then setting again with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish just to have a nice light set of the face. Then I'm just dragging my first shade back under the eyelid to kind of bring that intensity underneath as well. Then I'm taking a black uh, pencil eyeliner to start sketching out where I want all of my scully features to be. Um, so these should be pretty much everywhere in the hollows of the face, so around the cheekbones, your temples, um, also like the brow and eye socket. Um, and then also your nose. If you want, you can do extra definition in the jaw, but that's gonna come a little bit later in the end. And of course, if you want to, you could just have this as a glam makeup look rather than it being like a bit more Halloween-y, I suppose. Um, and you could just go for your halo eye and you could do any color combination. It would literally look stunning. Uh, but obviously I've gone for the skull today. Um, and then I'm using black truffle truffle from the Huda Beauty palette. Wow, I cannot get that out. <laughs> um, to define the hollows of the face. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and buff them out a little bit as well before jumping into my next shade. And of course, I'm going back in with Love Letter from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. Wow, say that 10 times fast. Um, and I'm just buffing out over the edges so we get that same kind of color continuity um, going on the face as well as the eyes. Then I'm coloring in my little black nose. Um, and then what I ended up doing as well is taking a little red dot of that same shadow right on the tip just to bring it all together. Um, and then defining around the socket as well. I'm just making sure that's all really buffed into my hairline as well so it doesn't go face, hair. Yeah, <laughs> um, and then I'm just adding a little bit more intensity back with my black shadow, um, just because I lost a little once I added in my pink shadow. I'm just using a smaller brush to do so. 
And again, using Love Letter and Black Truffle, I'm just buffing them over my lips. Then to soften everything up, I'm just using my powder brush to buff along the edges again. Then I'm highlighting with my Inglot Shimmer Dust in number two, I think it is. Um, and I'm just highlighting all of the highest points on my face. Then I'm going in with my um, Brush Back Eyeliner by MAC. Um, and I'm just going in to further define um, all of the areas where I've um, added that definition. And then I'm going to go back in with a smaller brush and my black shadow to really, again, go along the edges and make everything super intense. Also, I literally haven't been YouTubing because I was like, mm, like, I don't really know if it's worth it. Like, nobody really watches. But I think it's really fun and it's honestly not that challenging to do. So I thought, you know what, just get out there and get it done. Um, and I thought perfect timing because it's Halloween tomorrow so we're gonna get this boy up um, hopefully tonight but maybe you're seeing this after Halloween and <laughs> cool um, <laughs> but yeah so I just wanted to say if you've tuned back in thanks for actually sticking around um, many appreciations to you also, if you're not following me on Instagram already, first of all, how the hey did you find my YouTube channel? And second of all, go do it right meow. Now that we've contoured, of course, we've got to do some highlighting as well. So I'm going in with a white water activated face paint and I'm just going right along the edges of where I've added the most definition and just doing a little paint on with one brush and then using a dry brush technique to really fluff out and buff out the edges um, to give it a more smooth and seamless effect, which I guess makes it a little more natural. Not that this look is natural, but you know, we're all about versatility. I had a few problems with um, doing the teeth. I couldn't really find it way that worked out for me so I just fiddled around until I got this technique here which was pretty much the same as what I was doing for the highlighting on the rest of the face draw it on buff it out with a little dry brush and then I went back in with my liner um, to redefine where I lost a little intensity tapping on a little lash glue onto the lid and using a really beautiful uh, diamond shaped iridescent craft glitter and patting that over the lid just for a little extra dimension then I'm going in with a couple of liquid lipsticks by Mode Cosmetics, um, Mulberry being the darker one and Russian Skies being the lighter one. And I'm just buffing and taking that down onto the chest using my um, fingers and then tapping that same green glitter on and then my iridescent diamonds as well, which looked so beautiful when they caught the light. Literally obsessed with it. Um, and I hope you guys are, are as obsessed with it as I am. So thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in another one maybe not in 12 years <laughs>